I'm Jeff Philbin and this is Dinner Diaz. We're here every day with ways to solve the eternal puzzle of what's for dinner. Today, it's time for tea. High tea, that is, as we make three tiers of tasty treats from fancy finger sandwiches to a classic scone. Get your pinky in position as we partake in the perfect tea party. I'm Jeff Philbin and this is Dinner Diaz. Joining me to take us through a traditional tea is Chef Mark Levy. He's cooked everywhere from Paris to upstate New York and is currently masterminding the menu at a roaming restaurant called The Whitman, part of the Ball Harbor Shops pop-up currently in Sarasota through Thursday, May 2nd. Thanks for coming to the Dinner Diaz Kitchen, my friend. You're welcome, Jeff. Thanks for being here. It's now, great. the Whitman is offering their high tea every Tuesday afternoon. And today, Chef Mark is sharing some ideas for how to have your own high tea, starting with some very special sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Which one are we starting with first? So we're going to start right here, uh, Jeff, with good old-fashioned egg mayonnaise. But this one, we're going to make real decadent. We're actually going to add some caviar to it as well, just to finish it off. And do you have an egg peeling tip? Yeah, so I boil the water. Yep. Eggs go in 10 minutes. Okay. As soon as they come off, a uh, bunch of ice in there and cold water and let them sit for another 10 minutes. So okay. you cool them in ice for as long as you, uh, as you cook them. Then the peeling side, as you can see what I'm doing here, is just uh, a little tap and then a roll. I, yeah. And you can hear that little crackle. Uh -huh. So it kind of looks so this like, so the whole thing is cracked. And then I like to keep a bowl of water. And one is to make sure that we keep all the shell off of the egg. Okay. Uh, and we can just keep dipping it. But also I don't know what it is. It's like a little bit of the water goes under the under the skin and it just makes it, it helps a little separate easy. a little yeah. bit more. Okay. Yeah, you know, and you can have you know, you have all kinds of trouble with you know, with eggs and then, you know, the shell will stick to them. But this generally seems to work okay. you know, for me over the years. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now we're just gonna turn these uh, turn these eggs into a little bit of egg mayonnaise. Okay. Just on a simple box grater. Real simple, just push that through. You can put this in the food processor if you want, but you know, I think it's better through the box grater. It gives mm -hmm. you the size that I like for it. Very so nice. Just get that off of there. And move this into there. Okay. But as you can see, one of the things there is, uh, you know, by doing this process with the egg as well, you never get any of the black circle around the outside, which can discolor your egg salad. Yeah. Uh, and that's just down to the most important part, which is cooling down your eggs quickly enough. So what we've done here is uh, uh, just the mayonnaise in there, mm -hmm. uh, the salt, pepper, and the chives. And what you want to do is you don't want to make it overly soft because then it won't hold its shape. Okay. So what we're going to do, we've got a couple of these uh, great little guys here. This we've used brioche. I just cut them out and then toasted them in the oven. So it's like a nice bite-sized piece. Uh -huh. And then, you know, we are Bow Bo Harbor, of course, so we're gonna make this a little fancy. So. I love it. To have a high tea for your dinner tonight, grab the recipes for everything we're making today over at dinnerdias.com. The easiest way to get there is to scan that QR code. It's that square down there on your screen. Grab your phone, open the camera app as if you're about to take a photo. And when you point at it, a link to us will pop up. So we're just going to add a, a, a little glorious layer here. So this is some um, uh, Kaluga caviar, my favorite, nice and buttery. And we're just going to... Now, if you're on a budget, go. could you get away without having the caviar? Yeah, so it's just as delicious without. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. There they are. Finish with the little chives. Our high tea tower is filling up nicely. And when we come back, the cucumber sandwiches, but with a twist. And how to make a smoked salmon spread, you're ready for any VIP visits ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, where we're taking tea today with our special guest chef, Mark Levy. He's part of the Ball Harbor's pop-up shop experience, currently on site in Sarasota, where he heads up their traveling restaurant, The Whitman, who serve an afternoon tea every Tuesday with their last one on April 30th. He's been sharing how to make your own take on this traditional treat by sharing inspiration for some super sandwiches. Before the break, we made a classic egg mayonnaise with a perfectly peeled egg, which we grated and mixed with mayo, chives, salt and pepper, then made it into open face sandwiches with a little cheeky caviar chaser. Now it's time to fill our next tier 
with our unique spin on a cucumber sandwich. That's right, that's right. Real classic one is the cucumber sandwich, which, uh, you know, it's just normally done with softened butter and cucumber, yeah. white bread, crust salt. It can be wheat bread as well. Okay. Um, uh, but this one, we decided to add another layer to it. So we're gonna make some pea hummus. Uh, so we have some, uh, uh, some chickpeas here. Just going in, and these, uh, these now these ones aren't just going in. Like, you've right. actually taken the time to have a team member actually <laughs> peel. Yeah, we, we like to, you know, it's well, like everything. You know, when we're in a nice restaurant like we are, we like to elevate for it for sure. So we just peel those skins off the outside from the can. Uh -huh. You know, when you take them out uh, from now, and um, uh, it definitely ends up giving you a much smoother finished product. So we just got some English peas, which has some chopped mint with them as well. Okay. I'm not going to need all this garlic. It's just a little garlic here. Um, and then, of course, I always think this is a great thing with tahini. Mm -hmm. You know, buy the best that you can. This is an organic tahini. Okay. Um, and I just really find that that sesame flavor is uh, prevalent in the hummus. I think that's important. You know, sometimes people don't put enough in there. Sure, so sure. Put enough in there and let it have that nuttiness to it. So we're just going to put the lid on and uh, we will get it going and we'll slowly drizzle in the oil. Grab Chef Mark's recipes for everything he's making over at our website, dinnerdias.com. We have all the ingredients, amounts, and directions ready for you to print. Scan that QR code on the screen to find your way to us. All right. Not too thin, not too thick. Perfect. Somewhere in the middle. Perfect. So we're just going to take this over here and we're going to get the sandwich made. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll just spread that on there. It's, uh, it's a nice, this is almost like your mayonnaise or the glue mm -hmm. for the sandwich, like we spoke of before. So, uh, let's so reach across there. Gotcha. Hand me the cucumbers, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then we just basically revert back to the classic sandwich. We're going to add the cucumber, you know, in a slightly scaled form all over there. So, you've got to make sure when you make these sandwiches and you serve them, you get a little bite of everything. Uh, in each in each bite with uh, the, the style of sandwich that you're having. So uh, we put that on there, a little bit of the micro mint. Now we use the micro mint, it's a bit more delicate uh, and not so harsh on the palate. So you taste the mint, but you know, it's not, yeah. you're, not you're not drinking a mojito, you know? So uh, with that, just a little bit of salt in there as well. And then very simply, we just put the two, the two together, right here. So, uh, and then of course this uh, is a British tea sandwich. So we're gonna take the crust off. Okay. All right. You guys don't like your crusts. <laughs> so that's like every sandwich. Like here, like in America, it might be the PB and J for the kids, right, but even right. for adults, it's like, no, we're taking the crust off on that too. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, so we'll look at it and I'll say, okay, that's a portion that we do in a restaurant, but you know, basically like that large finger size, you know? Okay. So that's what you got there, and you can just see a beautiful, balanced, nice, light sandwich. All right, what's next? Hey, Jeff, if you want to hand me the tea stand, I can, I can hand these, sure. uh, put these on here. Uh, add it to our egg mayonnaise. So that's the other nice thing is that we've got a totally different color and we'll put in a different design on the plate. You know, we'll mm -hmm. put all four in there, why not? So we just, uh, just the smoked salmon one to make. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do here in the processor is just add some smoked salmon. And we have some uh, cream cheese. Now, why are you blending it up? So what we're trying to do, uh, Jeff, is just try and like, put together the gel for the bread okay. to stick it together. And I just think it adds another dimension to it. We can add a lot of flavors. So we've got some freshly chopped dill here. We've got some lemon zest as well. We've got a few capers. Okay, we've got a pepper. Smoked salmon always loves black pepper. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of mayonnaise to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get this spinning. All right, there we have it. So, we'll take this guy out. Get him moved out of the way. Now, uh, so we're just gonna take it from here, and you can see it's got a nice uh, smooth pate consistency mm -hmm. in there. And it's nice and uh, amalgamated, you know, emulsified even. So we're just gonna put some of this on the bread to start with. Looks about right. Bring back on. Love it. And like I said with the last one, not too much, not too little. You want to be able to taste it, uh, but you don't want it to squeeze out the sides when you make the sandwiches, you know. You can always add more, but you just right. got to get that nice thin layer got it. all over. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right, so then we're going to go 
you know, like I said, I wanted to make sure that we got nice smoked salmon flavour. So it's beautiful smoked salmon here. Look at that one slice fits oh. in. That's perfect. It was made for that one. It was a big salmon. It was, it it was, was ready for it. I was like, I'm going right there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to finish this one off. Um, you know, people love watercress. This is a lovely little product called uh, Red Watercress. And it's just got that nice, you know, red hue to it, nice and peppery. Okay. Just like regular watercress is, but uh, looks a bit prettier. So, um, lovely. Yeah, that's real nice. And then just over here, uh, Jeff, we just got some pickled shallots, and we do these in our kitchen. Okay. Um, you, you know, you do them overnight, and they take on that lovely red hue of the, uh, the natural color of the shallot. So, I'm going to put a few in there. Um, so, here again with a sandwich, you put the lid on. So, now we've got a nice gel. Again, just a gentle push down mm -hmm. there. That's where it needs to be. Crust off, of course. I want to keep that flow going with the, the, the high tea vibe. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. That's for the staff afterwards, you see. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, again, into that finger sandwich. So, like, you know, the, whatever bread it is that you use, you know, you can use whole wheat bread, white bread, whatever it is, um, you know, as long as it evens out and gives you four pieces per loaf, you okay. should be good, you know, you can, you can make more. Now these guys, we're going to set up uh, just a little bit differently. We're going to do two by two. Two by two. All right. So each one of these look different, so then, you know, the guests can identify them and then so can our staff when they're describing to you what the sandwiches are. Or later on, you and I could just play a game of Jenga and just tell <laughs> which one we want to go, to go we'll for. Because make a few more sandwiches. <laughs> exactly, because our high tea tower of treats is looking lovelier and lovelier. And when we come back, some deliciously dainty desserts will be joining the party as we get baking and Chef Mark shares his recipes for classic scones ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Yes, it's tea time. Today's idea for dinner is actually an idea for tea. High tea specifically, which we're taking with Chef Mark Levy. He's the menu maestro at the Ball Harbor Pop-Up in Sarasota at their Whitman restaurant, where you can take high tea every Tuesday through the end of April. Before the break, we made Chef Mark's special spin on cucumber sandwich, blending chickpeas, English peas, garlic, tahini, olive oil, salt and pepper, and spreading it on brioche bread and then adding cucumber. Then we made a smoked salmon sandwich with a base of blended smoked salmon, cream cheese, lemon juice, and zest, capers, a little dill, and a little bit of mayo, and adding a touch of pickled shallots. Now it's dessert time. Okay, so <clears throat> this is our recipe for the classic scurry. So what do we have inside our mixing bowl right now? Okay, so we have uh, flour, butter, baking powder, and you really kind of want to take it to like a, a golden bread mm -hmm. crummy base. And um, thank you for the sugar there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a little gotta bit of sugar in there to sweeten out. Right, we gotta have a little go. sugar. There we go. So while that's rolling, we'll get that in now. Okay, so that's swirl. been all of our dry ingredients. That's it. And what we have here is some buttermilk. So you can use heavy cream, you can use buttermilk, you can use milk. There's a whole egg. Okay. And some uh, uh, vanilla paste. As you can see, we have a nice dough here and it's uh, not too dry. So we just got it on the board here and we're gonna dust liberally with flour. And just pull that together a little bit. So just a gentle rolling. And how thick do we want to go with this? Uh, something like eighth an inch to half an inch, okay. I think's best. You know, I like them big and tall, really. You sure. know, and again, you can get, kind of get more on it. But, you know, we try to make these a little more uh, dainty for our tea. So we're going to go for here. So I've just got like a, you know, a small fluted cutter. You can use a plain cutter. Okay. Whatever you want to do. And you can actually see in here, see the butter flakes are yeah. still in there. So we've accomplished what we were looking for. Once you cut them, always turn them over before you bake them. Why is that? Well, so like when you push down, you're pushing the mixture down at the side. Okay. Right? So, but then when it comes out, if you flip it over, you know, that, that side is on the underside. So that'll raise up okay. rather than just from the middle. Now, well, this was yeah. a trick that you taught some of your team over there? No, I, this is uh, my, my lovely pastry chef, Janessa Suarez there. Okay. She, uh, she showed me that and I was like, wow, that's, uh, we're gonna keep doing that. So, you know, and I hear she's learning. a rock star. Oh yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's our top person. You, and you'll see her, her lovely desserts coming up next as well. And those just went into the oven? Yep, that's right, that's right. 375, 350, 375. Okay. Seven to 12 minutes, all depends on your oven and, and your fans. So, Perfect. Uh, yep, don't well, overbake them. Don't overbake them. Mm -hmm. We won't let that happen. Because while our scones bake, we're taking a last break. And when we come back, tea time and tasting time ahead on Dinner Diaz.
Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, or Treats for Tea Time, since today we're making high tea with Chef Mark Levy, who's cooked all over the world, but is currently running the Roaming Whitman Restaurant, which is part of the Traveling Ball Harbor Shops pop-up in Sarasota through May 2nd, where every Tuesday they serve, well, this. This is a high tea, which Chef Mark has been sharing some of the secrets from. If you missed any of it, watch the rest of the episode at dinnerdiaz.com. How do we get started? Where do we go first? Well, Joe, I mean, classically, you know, you start with the sandwiches and work your way up to these last sweet treats at the end. So, uh, okay. but you know, the first thing, though, yeah. you've got to make yourself a cup of tea. What's the proper way to make a cup of tea? Well, you know, you can go from loose leaf or bag. There's so many good tea products out there okay. these days. But, you know, uh, water to 197 degrees is what they say. But somewhere near there, okay. you know, let the tea steep in there for... You know, it depends how you like it. I like around four or five minutes personally. Okay. But you can go up to seven or eight, depending on how strong you like your tea. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, just pour away. Then, so you just pour away. Yeah. Now, is it controversial if you, you don't have milk or cream to it there? Do you need it? Well, in the old days, of course, it was the, the, cre the milk or the cream was added to the cup to stop the china from cracking because the china was so thin. Okay. <laughs> um, but these days, yeah, I mean, this is very normal to have your... <laughs> you know, your milk or your honey or uh, uh, sugar or cream, whatever you'd like. In there. You go on milk? I'll t touch of milk for me. You're going with a little yeah. touch of milk. I'll pass yeah. it on your side Thank there. You, and then what do we have here? Just yeah. a little bit of honey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah. I'm going with just that little drop of some honey. Yeah, looking good. And this is uh, uh, the English breakfast tea that we serve. So it's a black tea, a real traditional blend. But... And then where does the pinky go? Like, what is the proper way? Like, how do we do that part? Well, I, wanna, I, I got to tell you, you know, that's, you're getting real fancy with that. Okay, yeah, we're getting fancy. It's, it should be at the back there. Okay. You can cheers if you want. Oh, I'm cheers. <laughs> with you, my friend. Cheers <laughs> to that. <laughs> nice chip, spot. chip, cheerio, my good mate. <laughs> nice spot of tea, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, look at this marveling tower that yeah. we've literally had so much fun working with. Now, you're mm -hmm. saying work from the bottom sure, up. Sure, sure. All right, so where you, where are you the, going the, first? What well, the great thing is with tea is that, you know, you start with the savory. It's like your dinner, mm -hmm. you know? So you start with savory. So, you know what? I'm a big caviar guy. So I'm I was going for that one, too. Bottom. I've been, like, yeah. intrigued with all of yeah. this egg mayo. So i got to go right in for it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And we made that egg mayo from scratch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that simple. You know, a few little good ingredients and, um, you know, the caviar just for a touch of decadence. And that caviar is that little pop mm -hmm. of decadence there that is just bursting yeah. with flavors. Mm -hmm. Which was also catching my eye was our smoked salmon here. Sure, right here. go for it. All right. Yeah. Now, that we were talking before about the Jenga, so I'm just going to actually just, you know, I'm going straight <laughs> in for that one there. Well, you, you know. survived, you I, survi you I survived. <laughs> I, 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 I survived and lived for another bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what's so appreciated about this bite? Mm -hmm. Is that layer and consideration. Like, yeah, sure, you could have added just a smear of mayonnaise to it there. Sure. And yes, you would have had the flavor of that, but mm -hmm. no. You went mm -hmm. one step farther mm -hmm. and it added in so many incredible ingredients. Walk me through these flavors again for sure. what so was have, on that spread. Yeah, we have the smoked salmon mousse. Pate, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom there. So smoked salmon, cream cheese, and mayonnaise, and dill. The dill really comes through, actually. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then just the regular smoked salmon sheet on top of there. So mm -hmm. you get, you know, that lovely. Which is accentuating all those flavors sure, coming sure. together so beautifully. And then the pickled shallots and the red watercress. So really classic things that, that should be with smoked salmon are all sandwiched there between brioche. All right, and one more better. classic piece of it. Let's go with mm -hmm. this the cucumber mm -hmm. sandwich here. This that... is one that always surprises people. They really like this. It's simple, you know, it's the vegetarian. Sandwich, but this guy's good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit earthy. Mm-hmm. Trying to beat over, and then the mint comes through, and nice and refreshing. But all of that nuttiness with the tahini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm seeing over here, like, this whole, like, little fight with right. the scones. So, uh -huh. I mean, are you going with the one with the raisins? you uh -huh. going with the ones without the raisins? <laughs> like, I'm following your lead for where you're going to put me down well, this pathway. I like I like classics, so I'm going to You like classic. classics? Mm -hmm. All right. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. Right, exactly. All right. So then your key is with these, okay. you know, you slice them in half. You slice them in half. Mm -hmm. So it gives you two bases right there, and then... You know, there's a whole big discussion in England whether you put the cream first or the cream second. 
Okay. Yeah, it's like a whole thing. So um, it depends on what side of the street you, you yeah. grew up on. Yeah, and then you put the jam. Oh, all right. So all vice versa. But you know what? I like the jam and the cream. So you're gonna have to do yours the other way around. I like the jam and then the cream. So I gotta go this way then. All yeah. right, fine. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have cream and jam, and then we can we can we can battle it out. Okay. <laughs> Boom. There we go. There's your, there's your Wonderful. Jam. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'll take a little bit of this cream. And this is the classic, you know, this is, uh, you go down to the west coast in England, you know, you get your afternoon cream teas and stuff. And then you go straight on top, like, and you just make like a little mm -hmm. sandwich board? No. No, you have two, two, it's like you split your Oreo in half, so you have two. Ah. That's why you cut in half, so you have two treats. I like that. Mm. Mm. What a delight. That's perfect. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So next time when you have a half, you can try the other way around. See if which one, different. which is your favorite part on this entire tower? Like, which one are you like going back for for seconds already immediately? Uh, you know, I like the scones with the tea. That's got to be, it. I'm a savory guy. So mm -hmm. I'll go sandwiches and scones and then, you know, a little scattering up here. I love the macaroons. These little key lime pies, I love, they're fabulous too. So your favorite is everything is what you're telling me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> As it was for me, what an absolute delight and a treat this has been. Thanks again to my guest, Chef Mark Levy. The Whitman is in Sarasota through April 28th, serving high tea every Tuesday. A link is at dinnerdias.com, along with all the recipes from today's show. And if you make any of them, send us a photo. I'm Jeff Philbin. See you next time with more Dinner Diaz. Cheers to that. Right. Yes.